Happy Saturday, everybody. You're welcome to the Today's Woman Show. My name is Renee Q. Boating, and we are here at the Moving Pick Ambassador Hotel at the heart of Accra. And this, you know I love my set. This is a presidential suite. I have to say thank you so much to Moving Pick. And guess who our winning woman is today? We'll be right back. It's time for the monologues and this one we hit the streets of Accra and we ask different ladies their views on various topics. Let's hear what it is today. Beginning now, I dare be I if you say yes, my first boy had 32. Second one was 25 years. I joined the police. And the son of the man was a man. He 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 was a man. She's not supposed to have some friends. Actually, those outing types, those friends that like outing, I will not encourage her to befriend those kind of people. The woman on the move is a female entrepreneur pressing on towards her goal. Let's see who she is this week. Will I make it through? The pain is slowly creeping. So there's nothing I can do. My body in a circle. Ephesian has lived with this pain for 20 years. She goes through this unbearable pain each month, not knowing if she will survive it. The pain she goes through started at an early age of eight, but delay in taking her to the hospital for diagnosis worsened her situation. Herbal medicines became an option as she gulped them down monthly to ease her pain. Gradually, she was burying her womb and digging her grave without knowing. She got married and became pregnant for the first time, but lost her pregnancy. It was until then that she realized that she was not just suffering from severe menstrual pain, but had a condition called endometriosis. After losing seven pregnancies to this disease, she finally ended a seven-month term of carrying triplets who did not live. My last pregnancy was a miracle. I had seven, I had um, triplets and I delivered because uh, they were going to um, take them out about seven months. So I had two weeks to seven months and my water broke and I had still bed. So they were alive. But they all died one after the other. No one day. Within the day, about seven days, ten days interval, they died. If it says on a daily basis, she's faced with the pain of being referred to as a barren woman, even after carrying three babies to term through IVF. She shares her struggles discrimination from society and constant pain um, and even this still people don't see you as a woman sometimes I remember when I got back and my mom was trying to um, console me and talk to me and there was a woman around and she was like 
But don't assume you know every, you know somebody so well so you can tell like oh on who you ain't know a be on person be who. Even though she has undergone three surgeries, it has come at a cost, which has not in any way brought an end to her troubles. Today, Effie, through all the challenges, did not give up, but has started a campaign on social media to educate people on the dangers of endometriosis. When you have endo, you bloat. Sometimes you bloat. Sometimes my stomach looks like five months pregnant woman. You know, I remember when my husband was alive, sometimes people would be like, oh, congratulations. And I remember one time, a friend of mine came to tell me that, oh, your friend says every day you are pregnant, but you, your baby never comes. We have to tell our story for you to know that, you know, you can't get it unless you have it. You know, so it's hard. I have been... Um, diagnosed with PTS, a whole lot of depression stuff. You know, sometimes I get frozen brain. Sometimes I don't even like myself. So when I hear somebody saying they don't like me, <laughs> I laugh because sometimes I don't like myself. It is estimated that the crippling disease affects 176 million women around the world. Doctors and researchers have still not been able to determine the causes. Their cause is not known. There are a lot of things that we think contribute, but then we don't, there are no specific risk factors that we can say that if you avoid one, two, three, you will not get endometriosis, or if you do ABC, you will get endometriosis. The only thing we know is that sometimes it tends to run in families. And so if you have endometriosis, it is very likely that your sister will get it or that your daughter will get endometriosis. So it tells us that there may be some genetic component attached to it. But really, we, don't, we can't pinpoint and say that this is the definite cause. But research shows that when there is a hereditary link, the disease seems to be worse in the next generation. Reproductive techniques have improved generally, even in our country. So there are a lot of options available. Sometimes just by doing certain things or by the doctor giving certain drugs to just to increase the chances of a pregnancy, it works. When that doesn't work, there are options like IVF, which is even though expensive, but it's available in our country. We have people going for surrogates and all the things like that. Okay? So those are some of the things that could be done to tackle infertility. But then too, if it's diagnosed early, then treatment can be put in place to minimize the damage. Welcome back, everybody, and our winning woman for today. Now, she is a winner, is Comfort Okran. She's the CEO of Legacy and Legacy, and she's also the executive director of Springboard Roadshow Foundation. Oh, what a joy to have you here with me today. Really, it's a joy. Thank you for having me, Thank you, you so much for coming. <laughs> and there's so many secrets we share, and I think today I'll tell them a lot of them. No. No, no, no. I'll, okay, I'll share one. Okay. I'll share one. Okay. So thank you so much for coming. I know how busy you are. So for taking time out of your schedule to be with us. And I know today, everybody who's, going to, who's watching is going to be so inspired. Now, before I ever met you, you know, anytime your name was mentioned, it was aligned to motivation. All I used to hear was she's such a great motivational speaker. Please tell me a bit about, tell everybody what it takes to motivate somebody. Well, um, motivation has different um, roots or different things that um, back it. So you can have what we call intrinsic motivation, which is part, part wells up from within you, mm -hmm. or extrinsic motivation, wherein something, you look at something or you hear something or you look at something and you become inspired to do something. Mm. So basically, motivation talks about looking at um, getting, getting inspired 
to reach your potential. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about motivating people, it means that having the opportunity, and it's a really a great, unique opportunity that one is given, to speak or to um, say something or to write something that somebody reads and the person gets inspired to do or to reach out to do some more or to dare to mm. defy the all so like sparking an engine sparking an engine mm. and getting the engine going right. and you know sometimes sometimes you know I, I, I sometimes monday morning and i have to go to the gym and i look at how i my bed looks so inviting and i <laughs> really really struggle to get up i wish you didn't talk <laughs> about the gym you know <laughs> But when, when I think about what it does for my body, the, the, the fact that I, get, I feel healthy at the end of it, I get out of the bed and I'm motivated to go to the gym. And now, do you a few told me not to tell before. everybody, but you have started. So now I have to say, so for those of you who've noticed how much weight I've lost, I've lost almost 40 kilos of weight. Whoa. And the person who motivated me to lose weight is Comfort Okram. Thank you. <laughs> this, we had lunch. It was the 18th of November, 2017. Wow. And we enjoyed our meal. We did. And <laughs> after the meal, I mean, you started talking to me about health. Yeah. Yeah. About mm -hmm. loving yourself so much so that you care for your body. And on the 20th of November mm -hmm. in 2017, yes. I embarked upon this weight loss journey. I'm still on it, but... I have to say thank you. You motivated me. Thank you. Thank you. And I think maybe what I can chip in there and say is, is that, you know, I've had it in the past where, you know, maybe the intention was to motivate me, mm -hmm. you know, but the approach, yeah, you yeah, know, that was, yeah. you know, so it was almost like, why, why do this, do that? So it's almost like an attack. Yeah. More than a, you know, encouragement, encouragement in love. <laughs> so I have to just say that, you know what, you thank know, I love you. you. Thank I have you. I say thank you so much you know, for that, because that day you just sort of like made me see something in a different way. And that has motivated, till today, that is my drive really, is my health, yeah. is my life, yeah. my well-being, yeah. yeah. you know, and, and all that. Would you say motivation is a gift? Um, it's both a gift and an art. Okay. In terms of the fact that depending on your acculturation or depending on your upbringing, you may be... Um, inclined towards either criticizing people, mm -hmm. encouraging people, mm -hmm. um, seeing the downside of people, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you may you so if you are somebody who is who who is accustomed to encouraging people, or somebody who has who is used to seeing the best in, in people, people, you tend to to motivate others. However, if you were brought up in a critical home. And yet you see the effect words have on people and therefore you choose to encourage others. So even though your background may not have been one that um, mm. was, 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 was encouraging, you realize the, the, wor the worth that people get from being encouraged and therefore you choose to encourage so It's like, almost like you rise above your mm. situation and exactly. turn it around turn to around. improve the life of somebody uh, of else. Of others, yes. yes. So, so, okay. so yes, it's a gift and also it's an art. And okay. therefore you, one, one can, can, can create or, or perfect that art, realize what, what works, what doesn't work. And for me, I think that what has really helped me has been my Christian journey. Mm. Therefore, seeing the words of God, seeing, mm. seeing what, what he has what he has encapsulated in his word and I mean, reading it and knowing that I am blessed beyond all measure. I can do all things through Christ. I'm supposed so you actually to believe it. So your faith, believe in yes. it. Yes. And, 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 and attempting to practice it. That has been my, 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 my. Because uh, what you said to me was, Renee, you can do it. Yeah. You can. And I'm doing it. <laughs> you, because no, you I am it. today's woman and you are today's woman. <laughs> Thank you. I just love it. I absolutely you, love you it. You know, and, and let, me, let me say for the, um, uh, the for, for, for listeners, that, or for, for, viewers, for the viewers, for the viewers that, and when Renee told me that she has started the journey, I was very excited. And then she comes and tells me, look, I've done 20 kilos off. And I was like, are you for real? <laughs> and now she's gone double. Me. Yeah, we, we have to uh, <laughs> definitely <laughs> cheers thank you so like growing up did you did you always know 
that this is, did you think this is what you'd be doing? You know, inspiring people. You're doing so much. I mean, the list is so long. You've written, you co-authored 25 books. Something like that. My goodness. <laughs> I mean, these are just a few of them. Yes. 25 books. Yeah. There's even a new one out, which we'll talk about. Growing up, what was it like? Um, I, I would say I, was, I had a typical, lovely, um, um, no TV childhood really so, oh yeah no, no tv in our in our days those were the black and white tv days and G that was hot gtv and they had just a short <laughs> short <laughs> in broadcast times so i mean there was, no, there was, there was oh. nothing to so in your time that's when the tv will go off with the lines oh yeah yeah yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. so I, I i saw that very well in black and white not 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 in color no, no i wasn't born no it, thank you very much so but we'll not tell the <laughs> listeners what that, that that era is but anyway suffice it to know that so so it was more of i mean running around you know i mean going to people's houses and going to stay there and climbing mango trees and and enjoying the seeing somebody off to the person's house and the person comes back to you with you and then oh, you walk back again so no wi-fi no internet mm -hmm. Please, no, wait, no, not even phones. There was no personal phones. It wow. was, but it was lovely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I know the roots in, 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 in Osu, like the back of my hands, because I've walked every single street there. Wow. I mean, I've done, um, um, what's it called? Golden fish in the gutters before. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I've done um, Chaskele because my brothers were there. It, it done, I mean, football. We did. We now did look everything. at that because you're talking about it with so much like passion, love, <laughs> excitement. Comparing it to now, you know what? What would you say? What's the difference? You know, because I was reading a sign just today mm -hmm. that um, everybody is looking for Wi-Fi all the time. That like you even go to restaurants and yeah. People are not talking anymore. Everybody's yeah, on their yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, there's good sides and bad sides and everything. But what, what would you take out of your generation? Like, you know, what was that impact? Did it make an impact in your life today? It did. It did because what happened was we had the opportunity to roam. There was no... You, you had to self-regulate because there was no, quote-unquote, adult supervision. Um, you were you were you were roaming the streets of Accra, but you knew that you had um, do's and don'ts. Because mm. I remember one day um, something happened at home, and I I insulted someone. Um, my mother <laughs> descended on me very well, <laughs> and I knew that insults were not part of my vocabulary. Right. And 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 so I didn't need my mom af afterwards. I didn't need my mom to when I'm when I'm when I'm going anywhere. For, I mean, for my mom to be there now. No. So it's instilling. It's, it's instilled the, mm. the discipline. And and in those days, that was when you also had um, about hundred aunts who could all <laughs> speak you into and... your your life, and therefore you never know which aunt was around. So you know. So it all. It was a communal. Um, um, I'm bringing um, bringing over, yeah. and it was very, very in, in uh, very good mm. for, for 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 a young child bring, growing up. Mm -hmm. now, and and you had the opportunity to interact with different people. Mm. You knew that your interaction, unfortunately, in our times, were lim was limited to our age group. Right. So then your father or mother has visitors, and then you immediately yeah, you have to the, yeah. the, the, the 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 place. But I, 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 I really did enjoy it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't exchange my, my child I mean, upbringing for, for anything in the world. I wished, I mean, and I remember I mean, telling my children to climb mango trees because <laughs> it, 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 it helps. I think it makes you more agile. <laughs> I, one story that I remember was one day I was in the mango tree my brother and I, and in those days, taxis used to roam the streets. They don't now that they have stops that they say circle, circle. No, they okay, roam the okay. streets looking for passengers. So as a taxi was roaming the street and was on the mango tree, then we'll say, the, the taxi will stop looking, looking for around. The, looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> she and there's no passenger. And they'll be up in the mango tree. We'll be laughing our heads oh, off. No. And one day... <laughs> The taxi actually decided to reverse. Come and see us speed <laughs> climbing down the mango tree quickly to run into the house. I mean, that's those were the yes, times. Yes, you know, yes, yes. So it was innocent fun. A lot of fun. 
a lot, yeah. a lot of fun. Wow, that's actually beautiful. It was. You should write a book about it. <laughs> Talking about books, congratulations, Thank congratulations. You. 25 books. Now, where are you getting your inspiration from? You know, for your writing, for your springboard. I, I would like you to tell us a bit about that. But where you, where, what, what inspires you? Um, I think the primary source for us is the Bible. Mm. And the Bible... And co-author, you're co-authoring with, with your husband. With, with, with Albert, my husband. Yes, okay, Reverend Albert Ukran. Yes, okay. yes. He's, he's, he's a sweetheart, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, mo moving on. <laughs> You know, here he, so 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 the Bible, and sometimes we tend to think of the Bible as this strange book that is holier than thou, and which gives you rules, do's and do nots. And mm. However, somehow when I read the Bible, I tend to see management principles in it. Mm. So then I see someone like um, um, Joseph as someone who had a dream and that dream had to go through certain steps of refinement mm -hmm. before he was able to come up with a 14-year economic policy for the country, for, for Egypt. That was so good that it was able to have global impact. Mm. So you can see globalization there, you can right. see economics there, you can right. see um, management there, you can see um, the opportunity to... to, to um, mentorship mm. there, mm -hmm. it, the, 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 the uh, role of um, having ladders, that comes to snakes and ladders, the, the, the role of having people, mentors who can speak into your life, the role of having sponsors, because if that butler was not there when, when, when he came out, he wouldn't have been able, he, I mean, nobody would have recommended him to, yeah, to, to, to Pharaoh. So you can, be, you can be doing very well in the organization and you don't have any sponsor. There's nobody who would mention to the CEO that, you know, this gentleman or this lady is in this part of the organization. Because you he, probably are doing a great job, but you're, you're not even job, seen. But you, you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not noticed. You're not noticed by the person on the sixth floor and mm. you're on the first floor. The only way you get to the sixth floor is if you have a sponsor. Somebody that you may have done something for. You know, the person needed the person needed something that was innocuous, something that you you felt, oh, this is within my, my my was a big deal. But you did it for the person. The person appreciated it, and at the right time, the person mentions you to the to the right person. And that can change your and life. And it changes your life in twenty four hours. One minute you are in the prison, the next minute you are exactly. leading yes. a whole nation. Yes. So you see management there. If you take the story of Ruth, Ruth, you just say, oh. It's a poor Moabite person who just goes to work in somebody's farm. Mm. But you can see the person was diligent. She would start work at the beginning and not stop till the end. Mm. She was somebody who was, who was giving, somebody who, was, who, was, um, um, who, who could share. Mm. And therefore, when they give her her food, she doesn't eat everything and say, this is mine and was She's selfish, but was willing to share. Mm. Um, and therefore, again, her mentor plays a mm. role in her life. Her mentor shows her what to, do, what to do, what not to do, and then it, it goes well. So I'm, I'm wondering if you are seeing um, these, you are seeing the Bible in this way because of your, because of your experience. You know, your approach, I mean, because you're a management consultant, you're a CEO, you know, so you're looking, you're seeing all these things. Do you, do you think that's what it is? It's, 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 it's very, very And is possible. it intentional? No, it's not intentional. Okay. It's not, I mean, I, I mean, because... I, but you see, I, I believe personally that the Bible speaks to us in our language. Mm. So depending on what language you know, mm -hmm. that's how God speaks to you. Mm. So I believe that because we are both, I mean, see, I mean, we've worked on, the, we are both CEOs, so we see things in, in that, that in that right, view. Right. And 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 for us, it makes it more real to us. So more I'm just wondering, okay, because mm -hmm. it's, it's just beautiful. I know the two of you. And um, so do you actually discuss it and plan it together or he writes, you write, and then you bring it together or how, how I mean, maybe it's a secret, I don't know. It's, but, it's a trade secret, but part of what we do is, um, so let's say we decide that we are going to do um, um, something on Joseph. So 
what kind of perspectives do you see from, from mm. Joseph? So, so you put the two mm -hmm. ideas yes, together. Yes, and then, and then we, we write it out. And right. then, of course, you have the editing and you are doing that. And so, and, and, and then um, the, you, you try and flesh out some part that you say, oh, I think this would read better if you mm. reincorporate this part and In that this kind of way. stuff. And, yeah. yeah. And so it's, it's all, yeah. it's, it's, it's a collab. Okay. <laughs> Collabo. <laughs> okay. So you're doing so, so well with the Springboard really? Roadshow. It's mm -hmm. just amazing with Legacy and Legacy. Can you tell us a bit about the different businesses and what inspired you to start? Right. So with Legacy and Legacy, we had been in business for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, more than 10 years. And, and we, had, we had done very well. That was combat impressions. And so we decided, and people were asking us, how do you do it? And, and it was becoming quite frequent. So we felt that if there's a need to share, mm -hmm. and the need to share it in a holistic manner, because then you, you, you create a vehicle that right. would be devoted or that would be mm -hmm. that would be that would be that would look at that aspect of of, of organizational building mm. or organizational growth. So that's what we did with legacy and legacy. So that's that's what bought, what what brought up legacy and legacy. And then we said, well we 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 know we are doing something in the space and this is the legacy and legacy targets mainly um, as top executives right. and middle middle level executives. Mm -hmm. And we felt that the youth, if they understand these principles early now, enough, yes. they would be able to make good decisions and, 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 and not go down. Um, it's like giving them a solid foundation. A good foundation, a very great foundation for them to start their, their, mm -hmm. their, their um, future, their careers on, or their entrepreneurship um, journeys on. And therefore, we decided to do Springboard, and that is devoted mainly to um, tertiary students. And, 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 but that's and when you go all around the that's country. That's the one that we go around the country once every year, at the beginning of the year. Um, nowadays, with the help of technology, we don't do the whole country again. We, we do um, um, about three instead of the ten regional capitals. And maybe it's, it's just in time because now that we've got um, as if new regions, you can imagine that we have a lot more, a lot more regions to cover if we had to do the whole yes, thing yes. around the country. So yes, so, legacy, so now Springboard, we use techno leverage technology in terms of um, social media right. to ensure that more people are watching. And last year, we were privileged to have some, I mean, some of our programs being watched by over a million people. And that wow. is phenomenal. That is, that is phenomenal. Wow. So yes, we may have done. Oh, you're making me want to toast again <laughs> to this. <laughs> so we may. Over a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we may, we, may, we, may, we may have reduced the physical interaction, but the social, um, the, um, the digital or technological interaction has increased phenomenally. And so we... we, we, we but we, when, with, with, it, with, the, um, with having it on social media, is it on forever or is it, you know, is it on for just that day? No, it's not on for just that day. We keep it on and we replay it and, and so on and so mm. forth. I met a lady mm -hmm. um, recently. I went and spoke somewhere. She yeah. came to me after... So much excitement, yeah. and I honestly didn't recognize her. Yeah. I said, oh, don't she recognize me? You came with Mrs. Comfort Okran to, Ooh, you know when we went to, to Cape, Cape Coast? Cape, we went to Cape Coast. Yeah. And she said, that day that you came, I can't tell you how low I thought of myself. I had mm. no self-confidence. Oh. But after you spoke, I just oh. felt like I am also somebody. Oh. And I think these are the seeds that we really have to be sowing. Because sometimes, like, you give somebody money, but if the I'm not saying don't give anybody money, yeah. but then, you know, like, it, it can... Can get finished. Yeah, yeah. Don't cry. I'm, Are you not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if only we could just, you know, empower each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and that's yeah. why I love the Today's Women show because we are showing amazing women every week. You yeah. can't next week. You can't miss. You can't miss the Today's Women show. We are showing and make every woman who has come. And 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 such on and such and such on the seed. It's inspiring somebody out there, sharing their stories. And in, in the story, it's not always success. Yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. ask you even about failures, mm -hmm. because some people think that you know they failed at something, so they think they are a failure. Please talk to us a bit about failure. <laughs> 
failure, failure is, is, is a stepping stone to, to finding the next level. Mm. Because uh, failure enables you to know what doesn't work, mm. what didn't work, mm -hmm. what will not work, hopefully, oh, hopefully not. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that sometimes you may have the... the uh, 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 you may have looked at it from a wrong perspective, from, mm. a, from a different. So, if you change your perspective, it, I mean, you you would you succeed. Right. But the main thing is that so, if you do something and it doesn't work, find out why it didn't mm. work. So, for instance, when we were at, when we we're doing combat, we did um, we did a client's work, and this is a young upcoming organization and we felt that this was our best work yet <laughs> we take it to the client the client looks at us and the client says it doesn't match oh wow this is not what I wanted rejects the whole consignment oh wow that's a lot right it was, it was printing it's printing rejects the whole consignment and says that I'm not taking it. So it's a loss, basically. It's a loss. So we had two options. Either to walk away from the client and say, this client is too difficult, and therefore we'll just go away. Or to take the client's criticism, mm. look at what... Because it's was, probably real mistakes you're making. What, 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 didn't, what, what was wrong with it, and see if we can correct it. And spend, another, another, spend more money to correct, do the correction. So we decided to do that. That client stayed with us for more than 10 years. Wow. Wow. So you lost that one, maybe some money, but it was like an investment it to be better. It was an investment to become better. And, and, and because of that, it, made, it, 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 it increased... Uh, the trust even in you. The trust and also our own critical, I mean, attention to detail. Mm. Because then we realize that we just can't afford to do things just anyhow. So sometimes it's great to see criticism in a constructive way. That mm. how can I, you know, sometimes all the time. All the time. <laughs> how can I actually not take it so personal? Yeah. You know, and see how I, that, that's a good tip. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. To. So don't take it too personal no, all the no, no, time. No. But how can I improve my life for others to be improved? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, let me go to the Bible and say, Esther, when when he she, she, when they, when Mordecai told me, she was like, you know, you just change. And Mordecai said, girl, wake up. Mm. You think that you are here for 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 just because you want to look sachet up and down. <laughs> you are here for a purpose. So this may be the reason why you are here. So Esther took it to heart and said, okay, I may have been wrong. So, okay, help me out. Mm. And because of that, a whole nation was saved because yeah. of that. So criticism is important. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you get criticized, don't think that the person may not like you. Mm. It could be the person doesn't like you, so what? But it's for you, be, at the end of the day, if, if you're going to, your, yeah. It's for your, your benefit. Yeah. If you take it in the right Mm. Right, right spirit. It's for your benefit. And therefore, take that criticism and, 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 and work Does it matter it? to you who it is who is criticizing you? Because in our culture, okay, you know, we're all sort of grown up, you know, brought up, I should say, to, to, to sort of believe that the older one is always right. The older one is always right. Would you take criticism from somebody younger than you? I always do. You do? Even my children. Mm. I mean, if they tell me something, I, I, I listen to them. And, and I, I, and I, because, you know, um, um, Naaman mm -hmm. <laughs> would have remained in his leprous state if he hadn't listened to the, to the, to the servant, servant girl. Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter who you are, where you have reached, whether you're the highest person in the organization, the highest person in the land, your ear must be open mm. to hear what others are saying and, and evaluate it. Mm. I'm not saying that when so like you... Like a self-evaluation. Evaluate the, 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 the weight or otherwise mm -hmm. of what the person is saying. Mm -hmm. If the, what the person is saying is, is, is true, use it. It would inure to your benefit. Mm. If you disregard it, you'll be like the emperor who is naked <laughs> and is running around and is happy showing everything. And, and, yeah. and in the end, it's a little boy who would, who would tell you that, you know, man, what you're doing is so not on. Yeah. yeah. And you should be humble enough. You must be you humble know. every time. Yeah. Every time. Yes. <laughs>
That's amazing. Now, I'm just, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I keep looking at that book and I see you and your husband and, you know, I, I just, your marriage is one that I've admired for a very long time. And uh, maybe a bit of advice to married women out there, married women, you know, or, you know, ladies even aspiring to be, everybody wants to be a married woman. So to women generally on being a wife, being a mother, being an entrepreneur or a career woman. How are you balancing it? How should you balance it? Marriage is a beautiful institution, um, especially if you marry someone who both of you realize the value in each other mm. and therefore support each other and, and um, believe in each other the, the potential each, each person has mm -hmm. is a beautiful institution. And based on that partnership, you, you are able to realize what you have to do. I have been blessed with Albert. Albert, Albert, is, Albert is, 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 is like a, is a sweetheart, is a brother, is a friend, is is a lover, is, 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 a, is a coach, is, um, is you, you know, know, everything, everything, basically. Everything, <laughs> you know, basically, business partner, you know, co-author, everything. So when, one of the things that made me, that was, it was just before we got, Married. How long have you been married for? We've been married for 25 years. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And um, so I, I wanted to, to start my master's. He hadn't started his master's and he was like, you know what? Go and do it. You know, I was going to ask you about, I was just going to ask you about your take on men seeing their, you know, women, being afraid of powerful women. Albert is not. I mean, any, 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 gentleman who is afraid of powerful, a powerful lady is a sissy. And I said it. The person is a sissy. The person needs to re-examine himself. Mm. You must be confident in who you are mm. and in what God has made you to be and the role you have to play in society mm. and in your marriage. I am also a partner, I believe in what God has given me. I believe mm. in what role I also play in that relationship. We bring the best things the best together to create the best in each other. And therefore, when the person is not just educated, but highly educated, the person can bring perspectives that you may have so never... So it's not a threat. Thought it's, of, it's, it's actually... It's, it's, it's a blessing. Yes, it's a blessing. Yes. And therefore, such people must be held in high esteem, high regard, and, 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 and nurtured, and, and, and given the opportunity, I mean, and, and, and allowed to blossom. Yeah, allowed to blossom. If, yeah, if you choose to be the, the cloud that blocks the sun, guess what? Your sky is also going to be dark. Mm, that's but if a you, deep if, one. Yeah, but if, 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 you, if, you, if you allow the sun to shine, guess what? Your day becomes so beautiful. So why do you choose to be the night? Why do you choose to, to um, 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 be, be, be someone that brings, to, to use words or or, or to, to use actions that, 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 would, that would demean a, a fellow Somebody, human. Yeah. No, it's not fair. Yeah. It's not right. You know what? I want you to do one thing. I know there are so many women out there. I know there are some men watching as well who actually admire you. You know, they're, you're, you're inspiring so many people out there. Please speak to the ladies. Give them a word of advice from you to them. Well, I would say that, um, you know, when 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 God created us in the in the in the in the in the, in the garden, He gave us a dominion mandate, mm -hmm. and He said, "Be fruitful, be multiply, multiply, subdue the earth," and that is what you have been given to do, mm. to have dominion. It didn't say whether you were a woman, whether you were black, whether you were white. Whether, it just said, "Have dominion." 
Be fruitful, multiply. And therefore, it is your mandate, it is your dominion mandate to, to, to not just inhabit the earth, but to rule the earth. Mm. Rule it in a holistic manner. Mm -hmm. Not such that nothing, uh, nothing is sacred and therefore you, are domin you, are, yeah, you have dominion. Therefore, you, you, don't, you don't respect you any, any... No, no, no. no. Yeah. Everything has its limits. So have dominion in your, in, your, in your space and enjoy what God has given you to do. Mm. So if you have a beautiful relationship, fair enough, if you if you have um, uh, your career, your 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 if, if you've been blessed with children, the opportunity that you have is to grow those children, mm. believe in them. Mm. I mean, I, 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 children can be very very trying. So I'd like to urge parents out there that I know sometimes our children can really really um, um, test our patience. But no matter what, how bad the situation is, hold your tongue. Mm. Don't say anything that may not, I mean, be beneficial, like saying that as for you, you're, you're, you, you, you are dumb. Or as for mm. you, 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 you are so troublesome. Or it doesn't, no matter how young the child is, and you think that this child is just about two, two, two years old. No, don't say negative words about your children. Always affirm them. Always have positive words. And pray for them. Because what I found out is that when they are going through those stages and you get, you, you get frustrated and you vent the frustrations on the children, sometimes it, it, mm. it wounds them. Yeah. And, and it doesn't go well for them. Mm. But if however you affirm them, and yet, when time comes to punishing them, you punish them because what they did was not right. Punishment definitely use, use, be, 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 must be, yes, use must be part right. of it. Part, you, you balance the love with, 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 discipline. with discipline so that mm. you show them the boundaries mm. and they, so they know to how to keep within mm. the boundaries whether you are there or not. I wow. can assure you, as time goes on, they would, they would, they would mature. I you you have said a lot in the Bible, and this has just come to mind. Sorry to catch you. The yeah. scripture that says, train a child the way, in the way yeah. he or she should grow, and he will never depart from it. So the solid foundation, it's, it's again. Key. It's now, key. what I'm doing now is I'm encouraging women out there to love themselves and not to be victimized by anything. Because like you said, some of us have been through, some you know people out there have been through certain experiences growing up that have wounded them and yeah. they are still not healed yeah, yeah you know but in healing yourself you must love yourself yeah so i have a special gift for you right you do okay <laughs> i have a special gift for you okay now this is the renee q love pillow okay okay now what the the whole point of this is for women to start telling themselves reasons why they love themselves because once you love yourself that's enough you know, you love yourself so much, then you can love everybody else. Then even when you're not feeling love from everybody else, you're still, you know, grounded. You still have that confidence. So this is a little tiny gift from me to you. But I want you to share with us one thing you love about yourself and why. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And I can see the butterfly featuring the... <laughs> it's a beautiful pillow and I definitely will keep it. But what do I love of myself? One thing I love about myself is, um, I don't know, I love everything about myself. I love my smile, I love my laughter, I love my God, most importantly, because I think that he, he is who, he is, he, he, he does everything for me. I mean, I, 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 I don't know what I'll be without God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I seriously, don't know what, where, who I'll be without God. I mean, so he's my all in mm -hmm. all. He's my beginning, my end, my, 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 my past, my future, everything. Mm -hmm. And I love myself enough to be able to laugh at, at myself. I love myself enough to, to take myself seriously at times. <laughs> I love myself enough to... to, to, to Know when I feel like crying and cry. 
And then when I finish crying, I go back and Do you know say, why? I'm in awe. <laughs> because I asked you to say one thing, but you're going on and on and on. And that is what it should be, really. Love is endless. Yes, it is. And I think that if every day... So, ladies, let's take a tip from this. Every day, every day, every day, keep telling yourself one thing you love about yourself. You keep doing it so much so that when you're asked to say one, you can't stop. <laughs> because you love the totality of who you are. Yeah. Because you are today's woman. Yeah, we'll be right back. Definitely. Today has been mind-blowing. I have had an amazing time today, and I hope you have as well. I hope you are inspired to be an inspiration to somebody else. Join us again next week on TV3 at 11 a.m. and also on DSTV channel 279. A special thank you to Movin Pick Ambassador Hotel for this beautiful set. This is a presidential suite. And thank you as well to GTP for my beautiful Adepa Dumas beautifully made by Ophelia Crossland. Thank you to the viewers for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a blessed weekend.